Well, well. All right, today I will be playing as William Regal, uh, just because, uh, you know, this is Legends and uh, very limited options. I mean, so you to Bill and Adam Pierce, I mean, you know, no offense, but you're not Legends. So we're going to go William Regal. We're going to take control of him. We're going to have the Legend Whisperer power card here where the first legend you sign this week will be for free so that's gonna be very cool we are gonna be choosing the monday night raw brand and we're gonna have the this is war power card we are gonna be going up against shane he's gonna be taking control of smackdown and i'm gonna have this on hard because i mean i mean it gets pretty easy after all once you play this game a lot all right, let's see who is on our legends list here now the way i'm doing this here is Will you become a legend? Like, when it's all said and done, like, okay, yeah, that guy's gonna be a legend, right? So that's why I have Cody Rose and AJ Styles and Oscar and Bailey here. They're gonna be known as legends when their career is done. And obviously, we have our obvious legends in here as well. So let's take a look at some of the noble names here. So Cody Rose, AJ Styles, Andre the Giant, Bailey, Becky Lynch, Beth Phoenix, Big Boss Man. Goldberg, Hollywood Hogan, Jake the Sick Roberts, Jeff Hardy, Jerry the King Lawler, John Cena, John Morrison, John Moxley, Mr. Perfect, MVP, Mankai, Mick Foley, Roman, Roddy Piper, Raven, Samoa Joe, Sasha Banks, Ted DiBiase, Terry Funk, Triple H, Trish Stratus, Ultimate Warrior, Four Undertakers, and X-Pac. That is in our active pool. In our Legends pool, I just, I don't know, you know, what I did for the criteria. I just picked random Legends and put them in the legends pool so we have batista a guerrero eric bischoff hulk hogan jbl kevin nash mr mcmahon razor ramon the rock scott hall Shawn michaels and stone cold steve austin why is trent shaw here okay we're changing him to local he's a local now and we also have the undertaker here as well and our locals is mixture between locals and possibly on the brink of being legends you know what i mean like biggie you know what i mean you know not quite legendary stash yet in my opinion brian kendrick he's more of a not necessarily a legend per se but like we we all know brian kendrick he's like he's been around in this industry he's been around for major companies for 20 years so gotta give him his due cesaro the Usos, General Hall, Kenny Omega, Kevin Owens, guys like that. I mean, like, they're not quite legends yet. I mean, yeah, like I said, wins all said and done. Kenny Omega's gonna be a legend. Kevin Owens is a legend. Like, he had a match with Stone Cold Steve Austin this past Sunday at WrestleMania. We have uh, the Young Bucks here, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, you know, the criteria's a little different because there was is there as well. But, you know, here's my inactive. I have, like, Adam Cole and Page. You guys are not there yet as legends. I mean, who's gonna have a Paul Cruz here? on their roster as a legend like, come on now so uh yeah that is the roster list let's do the draft now all right for our first pick is going to be the macho man randy savage face specialist all right smackdown as their first pick they're gonna get becky lynch okay very interesting for my second pick i'm gonna go a little cheaper here but i'm gonna go with bailey, bailey. it's bailey and smackdown's gonna go with goldberg okay so they got their top man and top woman third pick i'm gonna go with the eighth wonder of the world andre, andre the, the giant. giant and smackdown gets mvp so with andre the giant i need a good pairing and that pairing is gonna be eddie, eddie guerrero, guerrero. And SmackDown's gonna get Charlotte. Okay, Charlotte and Becky Lynch. Okay, they're gonna have their little feud. For my fifth pick, I'm gonna go with the ninth wonder of the world, China. So I have the eighth China. one of the world and the ninth one of the world on Monday nights. And SmackDown gets Edge. Pick number six. I trust him. Does he trust me? I hope he does. We're going with Jake, Jake the Snake Roberts as our six pick and no smackdown's going mox okay next we have some adrenaline in our soul the man who cut a fantastic promo past monday on raw his first promo back in the wwe we're going with the american nightmare the cody gross nightmare cody Rose. and sheamus goes to smackdown I need a bruiser and a bruiser like Lex Luger. Come on back to Monday Night Raw. The Lex Express is on Monday Night Raw and Mickey James goes to SmackDown. 
I need a fighter and I need another woman on this roster since I only have two so far and I my focus probably should be on the women right now I'm gonna go with Maurice is coming to Monday night and Brian Danielson is going to Smackdown okay so now I think I'm gonna go with a very cheap option here I mean come on like sting 84,000 like what or man, should I, should I go Mr. Perfect or Sting? Oh, man. Okay, I'll go with Sting. Then I'll probably go with Mr. Perfect if I need to. Oh, well, they go with Natalia. Okay. Well, um, now, you know what? We're going with Asuka. Asuka. We need another face, and we need somebody to, to pair together. Mankind, man, that's a good pick for SmackDown here. I think I'm going to have maybe a pick or two left here. So, right now, uh, I am going to go with... Ooh, no, probably won't go with Beth Phoenix. I, I need to go with another guy here at this point. Who is the cheapest here now? Uh, Mr. Perfect, 145000 I mean, I also have Jeff Hardy who can pair with Andre the Giant as well in feuds. Oh, man, that is kind of... Kind of rough there, and he's a babyface too, so... We're gonna go with Mr. Perfect. This may bite us in the butt. But uh, we need Mr. one more heal. Perfect. And I'm going to go with Mr. Perfect to end my roster there. That is our roster there. You can see we have a very dynamic roster. So this should be very interesting for us. Let's see what SmackDown does. Do they draft anybody else? They do not. And they got a damn good roster as well. Um, very diverse too as well. So let's see if we can beat Shame It Man SmackDown here in this video all right my champions here i need the popularity for these guys early on i'm going with mr perfect just because uh you see his stamina he's at 81 so i can probably put him in some some high risk type of matches here um and also i'm going with maurice as my women's champion she has a uh the second best stamina here and uh, her and china will pair up perfectly against each other uh for their style so Let's see what we got here for 15 weeks of GM mode. All right, guys. First show here for the Women's Championship. We have Maurice versus China. Two styles going to go up against each other. And this may be the main feud for the Women's Division during this entire video here. We have an advertising promo from Cody. We have a mid-car match between Lex Luger and Jake the Stick Roberts. That could be a future world title feud if the cards are in the favor of those two. These two guys can really do some damage with each other here. Promo here from Bailey, And in our main event, we have Macho Man and Sting versus Andre the Giant and Mr. Perfect. No show logistics just because it's the first week we don't have anything. So let's confirm the booking and let's see what we have here. China versus Maurice. Who is going to win here? And it is going to be China, who is the new women's champion in a three-star match to open up our very first match here in this video. So good stuff there. Cody. Oh, man. He had an okay promo, but the promo effect is down. Oh, man. His popularity went down. Okay. He may, he may talk about his dad a little bit too much in that promo there. Uh, let's uh, do Jake the Snake versus Lex Luger here. Face and heel here. And Jake the Snake Roberts wins here in a three-star match. New rivalry there. We're looking good so far in the first show. Bailey, good promo. Popularity goes up a little bit there. And in our main event, this could be very good or very bad. I think this may be not so good. Maybe. Oh, we, we get a, a two and a half star match. But I probably should have put that in the mid card there. Now looking back on it there. But we have a new rivalry here between these four guys here. So very good stuff. And uh, yeah, let's see what SmackDown has here. SmackDown. One, two, Mickey three. James and um, Becky Lynch. They get the win here over Natalia and Charlotte. Two and a half stars. Promo from Edge. Okay, no promo effect though. We have a run in for Mankind on Sheamus versus Mox. And uh, very interesting match here. Sheamus gets the win in a two and a half star match. And we have a new rivalry between Mankind and Sheamus. Fallout promo. MVP is going to call out Edge. Excellent promo. Man, that, those two guys can really talk on the mic. So that's very really cool. And in your main event, we have uh, Goldberg versus the big boss man here. 
and uh, Goldberg gets the win over Big Boss Man in a tables match, and they get a three and a half star match. What? Are you kidding me? And they have a new rivalry there. Okay, at a poor finale, at which I which I understood there. Um, so it says Andre Giant's a natural in tables match. So we unlocked a new uh, uh, match type for Andre the Giant early on. Personally, that's gonna be very huge going forward. So the champions on SmackDown is Goldberg and Becky Lynch, mine's Mr. Perfect, and China. So obviously they're in first place right now, but that's okay. This is the very beginning. Let's uh, book the next show. All right, guys. So I need to sign some more talent. I'm going to sign Raven. He's going to be good for 10 weeks. Um, I need a specialist or a brawler for um, Cody to feud up against. And I think Raven would be good. And also for Asuka... I need a specialist or a bruiser for her. This is going to be a permanent signing for Sammy George. So, uh, we're going to have these two on the show now. Uh, pretty much for the entire video. Because uh, I'm probably most likely going to resign Raven as well. I'm saying that now. And, you know, who knows? That may change. But, but yeah, I'm signing those two guys to our roster. And uh, let's see what kind of show I can make out this week. All right, this week here we have Cody versus Raven, face versus heel there in the opener. We're going to have Macho Man call out Mr. Perfect. That most likely will be our world title feud. We have Asuka versus Sammy George. Hopefully that can start a little rivalry there. I'm turning Eddie Guerrero face. I thought he was a face. This version of Eddie Guerrero, obviously not because that's Starcade 97. I should have known. I should have known better, obviously. But, but I'm turning him face. He's going to be paired up against Andre the Giant later down the road because he is a cruiserweight. Andre the Giant is, well, a giant, so that will make sense for the long term. And in your main event, we have uh, China versus Bailey, but we're going to have a Maurice run-in. Uh, look at my show logistics there. You can clearly see what I got there for that. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see what kind of show we got. This I don't expect this to be a great show. Uh, this is just a uh, a show to start views and hopefully uh, be able to move along going for uh, the big picture for this video. Cody versus Raven one on one match here, and Cody gets the win over Raven in a one and a half star match. Disappointing. Um, I need to do a promo for them next week uh, for that to actually start a feud. Macho Man is going to call out Mr. Perfect there. Okay, promo, but no new rivalry. I don't like what is going on so far in this show here. Uh, Asuka versus Sammy George here. Asuka gets the win and a one and a half star match. But we have a rivalry there, which is good. We can, we can live with that. Uh, face turn for Eddie. Okay, promo effect. That's all I need. And in your main event, China versus Bailey here. And Bailey gets the win over China in a two and a half star match. And uh, based off that distraction, I'm pretty sure China's pissed off at Maurice. So let's see what SmackDown has for us this week here. Charlotte versus uh, Becky Lynch in a Hell in a Cell match second week. Really? You guys are really going there? Wow. Four star match. Mickey James is going to call Natalia there. Weak promo. Ooh. We have uh, Mankind, Mick Foley, and Edge versus Daniel Bryan and Sheamus. Uh, interesting dynamic here. I don't expect this match to be very great. Two-star match, mediocre, but they have a new rivalry there. Mox is doing a promo afterwards, uh, that, that match, and he has an okay promo. And in your main event, Big Boss Man and Goldberg. This should be, I think it's going to be their top. They did a TLC match. Good God. Yeah, four-star match. What the hell? These guys are really spending their money early on here. I don't like that. I had a good booking at least, though. Um, you know, and they had, I'm pretty sure they had a good booking as well, so. All right, well, uh, yeah, let's uh, go through this here, skip this here. Obviously, I am in second place, and uh, they lost profit on that show, though, but they gained a whole bunch of fans there, so they're kicking my butt early on here, but it's still early. All right, so I'm gonna be buying this here for Raven, uh, Superstar Training, so I'll probably use this one next week. Uh, to make him a permanent part of my roster here. So, so that way I can get out the way. And I don't have to spend more money later on for him. So I think that'll be good. Also as well, I'm trying to get this free advertising booking. That'll be great later on in the later weeks here. Um, so I am going to be scheduling a run-in on China. Who is my most popular superstar right now. Alright, week three here. We have China versus Maurice. We're going to continue that rivalry there. But we're going to have Bailey draw a run-out on, uh, on China rather. 
and so we can be able to get that power card for later on and that's going to continue the rivalry as well hopefully cody calling out raven can actually get an actual rivalry going for them if not then i gotta think about it a different way for those two um mid card here we're gonna have jake the snake roberts and andre giant versus lex luger and a newly faced a guerrero we're gonna have oscar call out savvy george and in your main event you have the macho me randy savage versus mr perfect in a tables match hopefully that could get their rivalry going as well you can see all the logistics there let's confirm booking and let's get the show started China versus Maurice here. Who's going to get the win? It's going to be China, even though there's going to be a run out by Bailey in a two and a half star match. And for some reason, China and Bailey has a new rivalry. I don't like that at all. I didn't want that to happen, but hey, it is what it is there. Okay, promo from um, Raven and Cody. New rivalry starting there. That's what I wanted. Jake the Snake and Andre versus Eddie and Lex. Andre and Jake wins to an half-star match. No new rivalry there. Um, but I believe Lex and uh, Jake is in a rivalry right now. So that, that can still turn into something there. Uh, Sammy George and Asuka. Weak pro. But we do have uh, some growth in the rivalry there, which I can live with here. And can we get Mr. Perfect and Macho Man a rivalry? We, we need to have it. Macho Man wins. And tells me Street Star. There we go. All right. There we go there. What is it going to take for the rivalry to start? There we go. All right. What does SmackDown have here? SmackDown. Oh, Universal title on the line. Big Boss Man versus Goldberg. Goldberg's putting the title on the line. And your new Universal Champion is the Big Boss Man. A four-star match. It's amazing. What? Oh, my goodness, man. All right. Well, promo there from uh, Becky and Charlotte. Excellent. Mickey and Natalya. One-on-one match. Hardcore Country loses to the Cat Lady in a two-and-a-half-star match. Cherry prone from Mox, and they get 5,000 extra fans, obviously, out of that there. Okay, one, two, three here. Mankind and Edge gets the win yet again in a four-star match over Danielson and Sheamus. All right, we're not looking too good so far here, but I think we have some good things going on here going into WrestleMania Backlash here. And uh, obviously, they're in first place here. They taking the lead. I'm okay with that. They have more money than me. I'm okay with that. But we're about to go into uh, the next event here. One week before WrestleMania Backlash here. And China's not feeling 100% right now. It's okay. It's okay. I'm about, to, I'm about to give you the week off. I'm about to give you the week off. And, uh, you know, you and Maurice are going to, uh, you know, clash at WrestleMania Backlash. We're going to buy this uh, double cost here. This could be great for the last pay-per-view um, for WrestleMania. So we're going to uh, buy that. But uh, let's uh, go ahead and see what we have next. All right, guys. We're going to have a very tame show going into WrestleMania Backlash. I expect not to win this week. That's, that's not what I'm worried about. I want to have a good budget going into WrestleMania Backlash to where that I can uh, have a very nice arena, nice crew, all that stuff, book the matches that I want, and uh, we're going to do that. So, but obviously, you see the match card here Raven versus Cody, promo from Bailey. I'm giving uh, China the week off, and uh, I'm also going to be booking uh, Oscar versus Sammy George, a promo. Mr. Purvis is going to call out Macho Man. Hopefully, that increases their rivalry going into wrestlemania backlash and also as well hopefully lex luger and jake the snake can increase their rivalry going into wrestlemania backlash let's see what we got here raven cody one on one match one two three cody gets the win i'm pretty sure raven's pissed off that's okay though but the rivalry's going though and that's what matters bailey with their promo there okay promo but no effect change there oscar versus sammy george here mid car oscar gets the win as uh expected here mediocre match though Ooh, i don't know if i like that but we have mr perfect versus or well, not versus but calling out macho man here good promo and the rivalry grills that's what i want to see in your main event we have lex luger versus jake the sick robbers regular one on one match and lex luger gets the win in a two and a half star match and their rivalry goes to number two as well that i can deal with i love it going on to smackdown here and looking at Charlotte versus Becky for the championship. Becky Lynch 
gets the win over Charlotte in a four-star match. And you have Sheamus being caught out by Mick Foley. Their rivalry grows. MVP versus Edge, regular one-on-one -on -one match. And Edge gets the win over MVP. Their rivalry is growing. Oh, man. So they got rivalries going great on this show as well. Excellent promo from Brian Danielson and Mickey James versus Natalia. Extreme Rules match. $20,000. That's going to cause a lot of stamina there to be decreased. But they had a good match. Uh, or not a good match. They had an okay match, rather. So um, I had good booking. Uh, SmackDown had poor finale, so, I mean, maybe my show was booked better, I don't know, but regardless, though, um, you know, I get 56 more thousand fans, I get 86 more thousand dollars. That is very important to me, uh, in this situation there. China is putting me into the hole already. She says, oh my god, because I told her no, that, uh, you know, hey, she wants two weeks off. No, I, didn't, I don't want to give you two weeks off. You know what I mean? I gave you a week off. I didn't give you two weeks off. If she wants 100000 She's my champion. I got to pay her that crap. God, man. Jesus, man. Come on. You can't be doing that. I thought I left Montreal for good. Well, I think I'll do that. So then, well, what, 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 what are you talking about? Okay, well, well, we're in Montreal. We're in Montreal. That's why. Okay, well, uh, yeah, you're going to be on the show. But you're probably not going to be wrestling. So, all right, let's book the show. All right, WrestleMania Backlash. This is going to be Tables Match Backlash because all of our matches are going to be Tables Matches because we get the pay-per-view bonus. So you can see all the matches here are Tables Matches. Cody versus Raven for the women's title. Bailey versus Champion China. Luger versus Big the Sick Roberts. And we have in our main event, Macho Man versus Mr. Perfect. I used our power car. One of these matches is going to get rated higher. I have no idea which ones. I have a cherry promo from Maurice. That way she's in, you know, she makes an appearance in our hometown. I didn't know she wants to be in the match or not. But hey, hey, you're you're making an appearance and you're doing a cherry promo. Sting for advertising and a call out promo from Asuka on Sammy George. Uh, we're not using no advertising or special effects. We're going with the backstage crews and we're going to go with the backlash arena. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we have here in store for the show. Raven versus Cody. Feud here. Who's going to get the win here? Raven gets the win over Cody in a four and a half star match. That must where the power card went to. The power card had to go there. If not, we're in men for ourselves for a good show here. Asuka and uh, Sammy George here. Okay, Pro. They're going to have a match on Raw the following week here. China versus Bailey here. China was upset. She was ready to leave. But you know what? Damn you, China. Get the hell out of here. Bailey is your new women's champion. And uh, yeah, I'm probably going to give you a week off, China, because you want to be very, very, very rude to me. Sting with his advertising promo there. Excellent promo. $6,000, but no promo effects. So. That's uh, not bad or not good, but uh, yeah, let's see. Lex Luger and Jake Roberts, they have a good match there. Uh, and Lex Luger gets the win over Jake Roberts in a three-star match. Good promo there. Okay, promo rather from Maurice. In your main event, we have Macho Man versus Mr. Perfect. Are we going to have a new... We are going to have a new WWE Champion in a three-and-a-half-star match. Macho Man Randy Savage is your new WWE Champion, and the feud continues to grow. Okay, well, let's see what SmackDown has here for WrestleMania Backlash here. They have uh, only one promo here, but, uh, yeah, Becky Lynch and Charlotte in a regular one-on-one -on -one match. They did the title match before, and they got a three-star match out of it. Uh, Edge and MVP promo, okay. Mickey James and Natalia having a regular one on one match. Natalia gets the win over Mickey James again. Three star match. We have again Edge and Mankind versus Sheamus and Brian Danielson. But they get the win this time here. Uh, Sheamus and Brian Danielson in a three star match. And in your main event, we're going to have a run in from Moxley on Big Boss Man. Oh no. Oh no. This is WCW 2000 all over again. But Goldberg gets the win here in a four star match. What? Are you kidding me? We have a new Universal Champion, and, you know, he was champion for one week, was the big boss, man. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Let's uh, see here. I had good booking. They had good booking. Um, you know, let's see. I'm in second place still from what it looks like here, but I have $246,000 budget now. 
and uh, they have a two hundred eighty-eight thousand uh, dollar budget. Um, man, I closed the gap just a little bit here, but but not the way that I want to. But let's continue. All right, the Raw after WrestleMania backlash here. We're gonna have Sammy George versus Asuka in the tables match here. That should increase their rivalry and man, possibly have a good match. Andre the Giant is gonna call out Eddie Guerrero. Can we finally get something going between those two? Hopefully. I'm gonna have Sting going up against Mr. Perfect, even though Mr. Perfect still, you know, uh, feuding with Macho Man. I want to have these guys separate for at least one week here. I'm gonna have Macho Man do an advertising promo right after. And in your main event, I have Cody and Lex Luger versus Raven and Jake the Snake Roberts. Uh, Cody actually DM'd me saying that he wanted this match. Uh, he won well, he actually he actually won it a um main event match so i was like you know what i'll give it to you here so all right let's check it out and uh yeah let's see how this show does okay here we go sammy george versus oscar tables match let's see what we have here uh oscar gets the win over sammy three-star match okay and their rivalry grows that's what we want here i give up if this doesn't become a rivalry Okay, that's all I need. That's all I need. I don't care about the promo itself. I just need the rivalry to start. There we go. Sting versus Mr. Perfect one on one match here. And Mr. Perfect gets the win over Sting. One and a half star match. That's fine. Like I said, it, that match wasn't really much for anything. It was really just to get him and Macho Man away from each other for one week only before they continue on here. Excellent promo for Macho Man. 17,000 on the uh seventy thousand dollars but his uh, popularity went down a little bit so that's not too good um but look at this here lex luger's big head over cody's big head uh versus jake the snake and raven but looks like uh cody and lex luger gets the win here bribery's continuing to grow here it's just crazy it's all over the place but it doesn't matter um, it was really to get Cody in a main event match. SmackDown here. What do we have for SmackDown? Edge is about to be injured. You gotta have, you gotta rest Edge. Uh, Daniel Bryan, Bryan Danielson, sorry. And Sheamus gets the win. Four star match. Oh my god, I hate myself. False man calling out Goldberg. Their rivalry grows. Mickey James versus Natalia. And who's gonna get the win here? It is going to be Natalia again over Mickey James. Three star match. Goldberg with a cherry promo here. He's very popular, so he gets a good promo effect there. 5,000 extra fans. And uh, look at this here. Becky Lynch and Charlotte. And Becky Lynch gets the win over Charlotte. Four-star match. Level four rivalry. Oh, my goodness. They're going to have a five-star match sooner or later. This week here, we're going to have Macho Man versus Mr. Perfect non-title match. Cherry promo from Cody. We're going to have the first match, first one-on-one -on -one match here between Andre and Eddie Guerrero. Call-out promo. Raven's going to call out Cody. They're going to have a very big match next week. I'm going to book a TLC match next week because that's what Raven won. He actually hit me in the DMs. He's like, hey, I'm very good at TLC matches. So we're going to do that next week, and that should uh, either culminate the feud or may very much so get them to a level four rivalry and in your main event we're gonna have sammy george versus bailey and we're gonna have china run out on bailey so that is uh going to be very very uh pivotal for their few there so uh yeah let's see what we got here oh yeah also look at our show logistics here so we're gonna be spending a little bit of money on show logistics this week as well so let's uh yeah let's check it out and let's see what kind of show we are gonna end up having Macho Man versus Mr. Perfect here. And Macho Man gets the win over Perfect in a three-star match. No rivalry continue to grow there. That's okay, though. We're going to milk this as long as we can. Cherry promo from Cody. Excellent promo there. 5,000 more fans. Andre versus Eddie. Giant versus Cruiserweight. Eddie gets the win over Andre the Giant in a three-star match. I will take it. Yes, sir, I will. Certainly will take that. All right, Raven and Cody promo, weak promo, but their rivalry grows. Oh my goodness, they're, they're, they are going to have a TLC match next week. I'm going to put that in the main event, and the feud will culminate. Oh my goodness. All righty, and look at this here, run in on Bailey. China's going to run in on Bailey. Sammy George, Bailey one-on-one -on -one match here. Bailey gets the win over Sammy George in a one-half star match. All right, well, that is disappointing for sure. SmackDown. 
Okay, well, looks like Daniel Bryan, Bryan Danielson is going to get a world title match here against Goldberg here. And Bryan Danielson is your new Universal Champion in a three and a half star match. Mankind versus Big Boss Man here. And it looks like Mankind gets the win here in a two and a half star match. And Natalya versus Mickey James here. They had to really dumb down this show here. They got a three star match because I used that power card here. At a poor finale, that's okay. I'm okay with that. But we didn't have to see. I get 45 additional thousand fans. And I got 17,000 profit. I don't know if I like that um, at all, actually. But uh, yeah, if you're looking at SmackDown here, see what they got there. They got 172,000 in profit. Good God. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. I, I just screwed myself there. Good God. All right. Well, uh,. They're not making this easy for me. All right, guys, we're going to buy this power card. We actually have TLC coming up in a couple weeks here. I was going to do Raven versus Cody, but I'm going to use this in the main event match for TLC. So we're going to buy that now, and that should give them a five-star match at TLC. But for now, let's uh, put together probably not a great show, but uh, let's do it anyway. All right, guys, I made a mistake. <laughs> I made a huge mistake. Um, yeah, I fucked up. Look at my budget. <laughs> Look at my show logistics. I have a TLC match in the main event because I thought it was for three weeks out. That was another promise that I made to Cody. He wants a world title shot three weeks out. So, we're gonna do this main event match. This feud is gonna culminate tonight, or this week rather, on Raw. We're going to have Macho Man versus Mr. Perfect in the opener for the world title. And in your man card, we're going to have Maurice, who's a heel, and face Asuka versus Bailey and Sammy George. But we're gonna, the reason why I'm doing that is so I can get a power card for free arena booking to have China run out on the champion Bailey. That's the only reason I'm doing that. Then we're having advertising promos, free advertising promos from Sting and Jake Roberts. Holy crap, this is going to be a crap show. But hopefully we have uh, some good stuff going forward here. Macho Man versus Mr. Perfect for the WWE Championship here. And Macho Man retains the WWE Championship in a four-star match. Wow. Sting advertising there. Okay. His, he, I mean, nothing happened there, but I got $7,000 there. That helps a lot. We have China running in against Bailey, which means Asuka and Maurice wins three-star match. All right, tab rivalry, China and Bailey. I don't, I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Advertising promo for Jake Roberts here. All right, got twelve thousand dollars there, but his, oh man, his popularity went down here. Main event, Raven, Cody, and this is this is just the culminating the feud here. Can I get a four star match? Five star match? Cody wins against Raven. Four star match is amazing, but oh man, is it was it worth the money? Was it worth the money for that? All right, Becky, Charlotte, one on one match for the women's championship, and Charlotte is your new SmackDown Women's Champion. They got a four star match right out the gate there. Man, they had a promo there. Their rivalry goes to level four. Goldberg versus MVP, and Goldberg gets the win over MVP in a three and a half star match. Cherry promo from Natalia. They get 5,000 more fans right off the bat. And look at this here. These guys are about to be injured. These guys are about to be injured. Uh, Edge and Mankind. Danielson and Sheamus gets the win again in a four-star match. SmackDown is kicking my ass. That amazing booking, though. That amazing booking. They had amazing booking. Good God, man. You know, whatever. Whatever. I got 52,000 fans here. What is my pay? I got $86,000. Okay, I did get the free arena booking here. I am scared to see what the hell SmackDown got. They got 64,000 fans, and they got 140 profit. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. We're getting our asses smashed right now. Holy crap. We're getting our asses smashed right now. All right, guys. We're going to use our power card. We're going to use the Legend Whisper here. We're going to use Legend Whisper, and we're going to sign a free agent, a, um, a legend. And I need somebody for Sting. I need a heal for Sting here. Um, I, I can go with either 
Well, you know what? I may end up going with uh, Scott Hall versus Razor Ramon. They're both heels, but same popularity. But look at this, look at the stamina difference. The stamina difference is 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 the key. Both five weeks. That's gonna be, pretty much get me to the end here. Yeah, and that's and I mean Sting's a um I, I believe he's a specialist here. So I I mean I mean it's not gonna be the best, but it's probably gonna work out the best. So we'll do that. We'll sign Scott Hall to our roster. As far as our show is concerned, we have Eddie versus Andre. We have a Sting for a advertising promo. We have Jake Roberts and Mr. Perfect versus Macho Man and Lex Luger. Call out promo from Bailey to China. And main event tables match, we have Asuka and Sammy Forge. 23,000. We're not spending a lot on show logistics here. We got um, TLC next week. Let's see what we have here. Eddie versus Andre. Here we go. One, two, three. Andre the Giant gets his win back over Eddie Guerrero in a two and a half star match. Advertising promo from Sting. Get extra seven thousand there. We 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 uh, made money. We didn't spend money there, so it's free money right there for us. Lex Luger and Macho Man gets the win here in a three star match. Bailey and China promo there. The rivalry grows to level four going into TLC which is next week here Oscar versus Sammy George tables match in our main event we have Oscar getting the win of course and a three-star match very good very good alrighty Smackdown they may just annihilate me like they usually do but whatever uh Mickey James gets the win over Natalia this time okay finally gets a win here Shawn Michaels and Brian Danielson, what world are we living in here? He calls him out and a new rivalry starts. Oh my god, that is like a wet dream right there if there ever was one. Good god, SmackDown's doing very well. Mankind versus Sheamus here. And Mankind gets the win over Shamo there in a two and a half star match. Promo there, Becky Lynch. And her popularity goes up there. MVP and Edge. Edge gets the win over MVP in a two and a half star match all right well well smackdown's money just keeps going up and, and mine's going up too but man they're kicking my ass right now overall here we go guys tlc hey something's came up i can't have bailey taking part in your show this week sorry about that oh my god smackdown is screwing me over they're really screwing me over it's okay though it's okay we're also gonna use a special promotion uh, cart this week as well so that way I can uh, retain my fans and we're gonna do a little bit of TLC as well uh, power card as well so that way we can have a higher rated TLC match so so hopefully this can get us back in the game here all right here we go this is a make or break pay-per-view I think uh, if I don't significantly catch up here I will be lacking behind here uh, going into WrestleMania so we have Cody versus Raven. Hopefully the final match here for uh, this feud Extreme Rules match. Since Bailey's on the show, I'm doing a cherry promo with China. I'm going to be doing a mid-card tables match between Sammy George and Asuka. I'm going to have a call-out promo from the newly acquired Scott Hall to Sting. I'm going to have a tables match with Eddie and Andre the Giant. A call-out promo from Jake the Snake Roberts to Lex Luger. And in your main event, Power Card being used on this match here, Macho Man and Mr. Perfect. Woo, look at the show logistics. Spend some money there too. Let's see if we can make a comeback. Cody versus Raven. Is the feud going to culminate here? Who's going to get the win? Cody gets the win in the Extreme Rules match. Four-star match. China promo here. Okay, promo, but 5,000 extra fans there. Asuka versus Sammy George here in a tables match. And Asuka gets the win over Sammy George in a four star match. Rivalry complete. Two four star matches in a row. Scott Hall calling out Sting. Excellent promo. New rivalry beginning there. Andre the Giant versus Eddie Guerrero tables match. Andre gets the win over Eddie. Three and a half star match there between those two. Jake Snake point out Lex Luger. Rivalry continues to grow here. Main event time. Let's see. If we get a five star match. A close to a five star match here. Macho Man gets the win. And we got a five star match. There we go. Rivalry complete as well. 
between the two unbelievable all right that is a very good show i felt very good about that show there these guys got money out the wazoo here they're not spending a lot of money here just putting on damn good matches here look at this here becky lynch gets the win four star match rivalry complete their rivalry's done Sheamus. uh okay okay promo there for a sub promo here Shawn michaels getting a world title shot immediately against brian danielson and Shawn michaels he gets the win with brian danielson in a four star match what the hell? I mean, obviously, that's obvious, but man, they are kicking my ass. Look at that excellent promo there between MVP and Edge. One, two, my God, man. He put it on hard, man. It is hard. Natalia versus Mickey James. Got that yeah, four star match there. And Mankind promo, okay. And Big Boss Man versus Goldberg here. Tables match, main event here. And they had a four star match. All they had was four star matches across the board. Oh my goodness, man. I think, uh, technically, I had the better show, I think. I think I had the better show because I had a five-star match. They were all four-star matches for them. So their their matches all were all really, really good. Like, But nothing stood out. I stood out at the very end. So I don't know. I don't know. Let's uh, let's see on, uh, on, on how this goes. I had 234,000 fans plus $96,000 profit there. Still in second place. Still in second place, even though I got 234,000 fans. Their fans only 173,000, and they only got a little bit more profit than me. They're still in first. Me? You know what? I closed the gap pretty damn good there. I closed the gap pretty damn good there. We only got a few more shows left. Can we edge them out at the very end? Oh, man. This is going to go down to the wire, isn't it? All right, week 11 in Long Island here. We're gonna have our women's championship match that we that we never got the pay-per-view because Bailey got vetoed in a tables match. China Bailey promo from Asuka and promo from Sammy George as well. Sub promo for Asuka, advertising for Sammy George. Mid card match here, very weird one here, but I'll explain here. I have Sting and Cody versus Jake the Snake and Leg. I'm sorry, and uh, Scott Hall. I'm actually having Lex Luger doing a run out on, um, on Jake the Seg Roberts. Then in your main event, I have a Guerrero tables match against Andre the Giant. Alrighty, look at my uh, arena and advertisement. I spent a little bit of money there. I'm going cheap. I'm going cheap here for the next, for the last few weeks here. And I'm spending all my money at WrestleMania. China One, Bailey. Two. For the women's title, Bailey gets the win over China in a four and a half star match. Hell yeah, I love it. Asuka, excellent promo there. Great. Sting and Cody versus Scott Hall and Jake Sting Roberts. And Sting and Cody gets the win in a two star match. That's fine. But the main thing is, is Luger and Roberts, their rivalry girls. That is the main thing. And also, as well, I get a power card for special effects because of that. Sammy George advertising promo. Didn't really care about I care about the money, not about her popularity for right there. And then your main event, Eddie versus Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant gets the win again in a three and a half star match as their rivalry grows. All right, well, decent show. Shawn Michaels versus the big boss man here. Hell in a cell match. They booked themselves in a hell in a cell match for the title. Four and a half star match. Of course you're gonna have a four and a half star match. Gonna, of course you're gonna have a classic thing. All right, new rivalry between Mickey James and Charlotte. One, two, three. Look at this! Look at this guy! This, you know, walk, Walking Dead guy versus MVP. Doesn't matter. MVP beats that jobber. We have Mickey James in a self-advertising promo. Three popular points increase here, and then this fight for every feud here. Edge of Mankind gets a win back here over Sheamus and Brian Danielson. Okay, well, I don't know. I, I don't know what to think about this. I got good booking. They got good booking. Um, let's see here. I think I may. I got 17,000 fans. That's not too good there. But look at my profit, though. My profit went up a lot. That is going to be major. That is going to be major. That 323,000, that's going to be major down the road. Uh, They got a little bit more fans than me. But, oh, yeah, look at that. So, I'm. I currently have... No, well, they currently have more money than me and more fans. Oh, man, this is this is going to be close, guys. This is going to be close. We got three weeks left. All right, guys, again, we're going cheap here. 
We're going to have uh, two tables matches here to start and close the show. Uh, Scott Hall and Sting in the main event here. Luger and Jake Sting to open it up. Cherry promo for Raven. Advertising promo for Bailey. Big car match of China and Asuka versus Maurice and Sammy George here. Very minimum on the show logistics here. Let's uh, let's check it out. We're here at Omaha, Nebraska. Lex Luger versus Jake the Snake Roberts here. And Jake the Snake gets the win over Lex Luger here in a four-star match. Amazing. Cherry promo for Raven. Good promo. 5,000 extra fans there. China and Asuka versus Sammy, George, and Maurice. And Asuka and China gets the win here. Very dominant tag team. Two and a half star match. Doesn't really mean anything for me. It's really just to get a match on the card at this point. Bailey promo here. Okay. Her popularity goes down, but she gives me more money. That's all that matters. And we have Scott Hall versus Sting here in the main event here. And Scott Hall gets the win over Sting in a two star match, but their rivalry continues to grow. And that's the important part. Smackdown here. Oh, they have a very cheap show here. They're going cheaper than me. But man, Mickey James and Charlotte in a three star match. Their rivalry grows here. Uh, Broderick versus MVP here. And MVP gets the win here in a two star match. In a tables match, Brian Danielson versus Batista. They got another legend on their roster. But man, they only got a two and a half star match there. So. Let's see how things pan out for us here this week. Only 10,000 fans, and uh, we have $82,000 there. We're still in second place. That's okay. But, uh, oh, they lost fans. Oh, man, they lost fans for the first time. It's only 725, 725, but they lost fans. They didn't gain fans, and I should be able to gain ground there. I did a little bit there. I have more money than them now too as well. This is gonna come down to the wire, guys. This may come down to the last week for sure. Eddie's thinking he's gonna be leaving raw. Eddie, I'm sorry. Get out of here. I need the money. Wait, what? The only way you can convince me to stay is with a hundred K bonus. Otherwise, I'm ready to walk out right now. I don't think so, Eddie. I'm giving you one more chance and that's it. But he gets a small increase to his more whatever. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. Uh, yeah, he says I'm really psyched for this upcoming paper. Yeah, okay, so yeah, you're you are gonna be on WrestleMania, Jake, so no worry, guys. We're about to buy Vito Random Superstar, that is gonna be pivotal in these last up and coming weeks because I still have my This Is War card, so I may use my This Is War card next week and probably gonna use my Vito Random Superstar probably the week uh before the pay per view. So this could really change things around for me. I'm going to be uh, spending cheap here. I'm going to be spending cheap here going forward up until the last pay-per-view. Hopefully, hopefully this works out at the end, guys. This is going to come down to the wire, like I said. Alrighty here. Alright, so I have Cody versus Macho Man here. Tables match. In the opener, I uh, have Scott Hall calling out Sting. Mid card match, Raven versus Mr. Perfect. This is Raven's last week on the roster. I thought I was able to possibly keep him, but uh, I don't need him no more at this point, so I'm getting rid of him. Gonna have Eddie call out Andre, and in your main event, gonna have Oscar versus Bailey in a one on one match, tables match. This is really just filler matches, not to tank the show, but really just to have matches that can really do something. I may end up turning uh, either Cody or Macho Man heel depending on the results of the match and, and seeing if I can try to get a little rivalry going because Macho Man has no rivalry at all going into WrestleMania for the champions. And yeah, you can see my soul logistics there. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, see what happens. Cody versus Macho Man, one-on-one -on -one match, tables match here. And Macho Man gets the win over Cody. Two-star match. Mediocre. I didn't really expect much out of that. Sting promo there with Scott Hall. Excellent as their rivalry grows. Uh, we have Mr. Perfect versus Kurt Henning here. Last match for Raven. And uh, Mr. Perfect wins. Doesn't matter. That one-star match. I don't care. They have a new rivalry. I don't give a crap. I don't care. They're, they're not going to do anything. Uh, Andre the Giant promo. Oh, man. Level 4 promo from Eddie Guerrero to Andre the Giant. Oh, my goodness. And in your main event, we have a tables match between Bailey and Asuka. Asuka gets the win over the champion. 
and a three and a half star. I will take that a three and a half star match. Too bad that's not a rivalry there. All right, SmackDown here. Look at this. Natalya versus Becky for the Women's Championship. And Natalya, weeks before WrestleMania, is your new SmackDown Women's Champion. We have Batista with a promo there. Excellent promo. And we have Sheamus and Brian Danielson versus Mankind and Edge again. And look at that there. We have a three and a half star match. Sheamus and Brian Danielson gets the win. Of course, this promo is, uh, you know, these, these guys are always going to be feuding against each other here. Main event, Mickey James versus Sharp Flair. They start a new feud here. Is that rivalry going to continue to grow here? It does. Wow, they're at level three. I had good looking, and uh, I didn't check SmackDown. That's my bad there. I lost fans. Oh, no, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of, of me losing fans. And I lost 9,000 fans right there. That is not good. That is not good whatsoever. They only got 4,000 fan increase, so... Man, this is... This is going to come down to the wire. I, I keep saying it, but it is. It really is going to come down to the wire. Add more money. They only have 25,000 more fans than me. I need to start using some of my power cards here. We only have one week until WrestleMania here. Yeah, whatever. Triple H. Does Mox want to come over to, uh, to Raw? Yeah, nah, you're not coming over here. No, we have one week. Nah, you're, you're done. You're, you're done, boy. You're done, boy. You're done, boy. You're not my plans. That's not my plans. Get the hell out of here, all right? Uh, they should put me in a match against Oscar. Trust me on this. Yeah, yeah, we'll make that happen in three weeks. Sure, sure. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not going to happen either. All right, so let's use our power cards here. We are going to use This Is War. Oh, I can't use before. No! I screwed up. Okay, that's okay. We we'll use uh, we we'll use this then. That's fine. God, man, how stupid am I? How stupid am I at this? How stupid am I at this? Oh my goodness! I cannot use a week before a pay per view. Can I use it on the pay per view though? But that'll be for next week's show. So damn it, I can't do that. That that sucks. Okay, well, okay, well, we at least we at least use a uh, veto random uh, superstar. So, uh, can I buy this? So let me buy this. And let me do that. Oh, damn it. I can't, I can't double up. What? Oh, God. All right. So I just wasted 25,000, right? There. Okay. Whatever. Okay. So, um, yeah. We are, let's, let's set our last show before WrestleMania. Guys, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't know if I'm going to make it. <laughs> this card man this is right before WrestleMania. i don't care i don't care at this point man i may just lose everything at this point good god man all right so sting in the main event with scott hall okay that's good i'm gonna have uh cody turn heel then have macho man call out cody hopefully that gets a feud started those are the three things i'm betting on the 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 two matches the opener and the mid card i don't care about i don't care about whatsoever uh, but I do have um, China actually uh, interfering against Bailey, so let's confirm this and let's see what the hell. Did. Oh my god, what am I doing? I I do not know what I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm doing here. Bailey gets to win in a one star match. Holy shit! This is not good for WrestleMania. All right, excellent promo from Cody though. He does turn heel. That's good. That's a that's a very bright spot on this show. Oscar gets to win over. Boom, okay, whatever. That doesn't that doesn't really fit into my WrestleMania plans anyway. Look at this here. Alright. So so the goal that I had for these two here is fulfilled. Great. Alright, so we have Sting one, two, and Scott three. Hall here. One-on-one -on -one match. Scott Hall gets the win. Okay, and their rivalry grows and they get a three-star match. So so the three things that I care about actually benefit from me here so let's see what smackdown does going into wrestlemania are they gonna spend a lot of money they're not spending no money at all either so One, two, this is gonna three. be a bloodbath in wrestlemania i did use my uh veto card as well hopefully it can veto somebody that that's worth something here but this card here is uh something that i don't really too care uh, much about because uh wrestlemania is gonna be the show that we're all gonna care about here but they're gonna have mvp versus edge here in the main event and uh they got a two and a half star match okay well wrestlemania time guys at a poor opening i don't care i don't really don't care they lose fans i lost fourteen thousand fans this is not good uh but i got ninety three thousand though good god this is this is not good this is not good i lost fourteen thousand fans 
They got tipped. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I, I so lost this. I so lost it. Oh, my God. Look at the difference. Holy shit. I lost. I lost. I lost. It's over. All right. Let's time to add in all of our uh, power cards here. Special effects. Boom. We're going to have extreme rules match somewhere on this card. Boom. May add that to one of our level four feuds here. And we're going to do free arena booking. Boom. We got that. And, uh, yeah, man. Those are the three power cards I can use that... Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, as well, special promotion. Ensures that you retain your fans. Yeah. We'll use that one, too, as well, obviously. So, yeah. This should this should help, guys. So, let me see what I can do. We got one week left. Can we make up the gap? I don't, I don't know. We'll see. WrestleMania. Final show. Opener match, Scott Hall, Sting, Extreme Rules match, Power Cart is being inserted there. I should hopefully give me a 5 star match to have 4 hour for a few. I have Maurice doing a cherry promo for fans. I have, we have our title matches in the mid card, believe it or not. I have Bailey in China in a tables match. That should end their feud there. Hopefully they at least give me a 4 star match. I have a tables match to hopefully end the feud between Jake Roberts and Lex Luger. I have two cherry promos with Maurice and Mr. Perfect. I have uh, a mid-card title match for the WWE Championship. Don't really expect much out of this one here. This is really just a get-by of uh, Macho Man Cody. Main event. I'm doing a TLC match with Andre and Eddie. The reason why I'm doing them in the main event is because their popularity uh, together is higher than all the ones in the mix uh, combined together. Um, free arena, free big open stadium. That is going to be great. I'm going to go a little cheap on the Gorilla Crew. I'm going to have the, uh, the, the industry leading 3D effects in Pyro. Then I'm in the commercial campaign here. Let's see. Let, let's see what happens. Here we go. Sting. One, Scott Hall. Two, Extreme three. Rules match. Hopefully. Scott Hall gets the win. Is the feud complete? Five star match. Let's go. Yes, how we star our show. Maurice. Excellent promo. 5,000 additional more fans here. I don't expect this match to be great. But China gets her title back in a four and a half star match. I'll take it. I'll take it. I am not complaining. I'm not complaining. Lex One, Luger two, and Jake three. Roberts here. Tables match. And Jake Roberts gets the win here in a three and a half star match. Rivalry complete here. This is probably going to be the worst match of the show here. Maybe. Uh, Macho Man. Alrighty. Macho Man gets the win here in a three and a half star match. He is still the champion. Here's our final champion going in here. 5,000 more fans there. Main event time. Andre the Giant. Eddie Guerrero here. TLC match. We got a five-star match at the beginning. Andre the Giant wins. Are we getting a five-star match at the end? We did not. We did not. We only got a four-star match at the end. I'm kind of uh, bummed about that. I spent some money on that match, but that's okay. That is okay. Good gosh. All righty. Let's see what they're going to do here. They're going to do a TLC match to open up here. Oh, man. They may kill me. Oh, they got a four-and-a-half-star match there. Sell promo for Mox. Okay. They may end up killing me, guys. Oh, man. I thought I had something here. I thought I had something here. Okay. MVP gets the win over Goldberg here. Let's see. Batista gets the win over Big Boss Man. They're having... They're not having four-star matches. They're having, like, three-and-a-half-star matches here. This may be a five-star match here. Four-and-a-half-star match. Good God, man. And Hell in a Cell match to end it all. Mickey James and Charlotte. Charlotte gets the win in a five-star match. I don't think I got there. I got amazing booking. I got amazing booking. But I don't think I got there. I don't think I got there. They both, we both had amazing booking. Let's see. 323,000 fans. 317,000. Oh my. 328,000 fans. I, I can't, I, I can't uh, add. I'm over 2 million fans. I didn't want to look at this. No! Come on! What did they do? Oh my god, they... And they lost money! Yo!
dog. What? They put on a good enough show. They put on a good enough show. Look at my money. They put on a good enough show. If we were doing 30 weeks or whatever, I think I... Oh, man. I, oh. oh, that sucks. That sucks. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. Well, you live and you learn. I, I, I made a lot of mistakes in this video. That's okay, though. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. I had a fun time doing this. Guys, if you like this here, be sure to leave a thumbs out on the way out. This was a fun video here. Let me know what you want to see next here. If you want to see 90s wrestlers, 80s wrestlers, ECW, WCW, AEW only. Whatever you guys want to see, let me know down below. I failed as uh, as usual. Well, not usual, but I failed. But guys, I'll see you guys later. You guys have a great, great day. Ta